If you have a wall switch that just operates a light or an outlet from one location only, you've got a single pole switch. And so we'll go through the steps to replace it. A single pole switch is going to be marked with on and off. And before you work on the switch, make sure you turn off the breaker or remove the fuse that goes to the switch. And a switch is just a break in the hot. So we've got hot coming from the breaker box and going on to the light or outlet or appliance that it operates. In this case, this box has the white wires coming from the light and they're twisted together with a wire nut. So I've tested the outlet and you can put your tester on the terminal and against the metal box and you want to test both sides and we've got the electric off here. Alright, I'm just going to unscrew the terminals and remove the wires and right away I can see that these weren't stripped properly. They're a very short piece of wire which is hard to hold around the terminal. So I'm going to straighten these out and I'll show you how you would correct that. Alright, I'm going to straighten out the wire here and what I'm going to do is just because this is too short, I'm just going to take uh, these needle nose pliers and I'm going to cut the wire off right down to the insulation and then we're going to strip it to the proper size. Now on the body of your new switch, it's going to have a guide on where to strip your wire. So I'm going to use this as a measurement and then we're going to take some wire strippers and we're going to get these stripped to the proper size. Alright, I marked both my wires with the body of the switch so I know how much insulation to strip off and we're dealing with 14 gauge wire which is the normal wire for a 15 amp circuit in most homes and so I'm going to use my wire stripper and I'm going to set it for 14 gauge wire and we will just pull away the excess insulation and now we'll do that on both wires and then we're just going to give it a little bit of a hook shape with a pair of needle nose pliers and we're going to shape it like that and that's going to go around the terminal and give a, a great connection. Right, I have a nice hook on the end of each wire and I'm going to wrap it around the terminal in a clockwise direction so as we tighten down the terminal it's going to tighten down on the wire. If I were to wrap the wire counterclockwise it could actually push it off. So we'll just snug up both of these screws and because a switch is just a break in the hot. It doesn't matter which wire you put on which terminal. They're absolutely interchangeable. And the next step I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap a piece of electrical tape around the terminals here in case in the future someone would pull out the switch and touch the metal box. It could cause a short or you could uh, create a, a shock hazard. Alright, so we'll just cover these screw terminals. Give it one quick wrap. And that's just a little safety for the next guy. You should always turn off your electric, but if somebody didn't, it's protected. And some switches, you'll be connecting a bare ground wire or a green wire to the switch. In this case, there is no ground connected to it, so we're just going to replace it the way it was but there is a screw on the side that you could connect a ground to and we're just going to get the two screws back into the box like that and we will turn the electric back on and check it before I put the cover on but that's it it's a pretty simple do-it-yourself project for a single pole switch. All right, I thought I'd open a couple other boxes just to give you an idea what you might run into. Now this is a, again a single pole switch but it's going not only to an overhead light but it's going to two switched outlets and this is a very unusual switch because instead of having a screw terminal that you would wrap a wire around it's actually going under a little bit of a clamp and once you screw down this screw this clamp pushes against the wires and so you've got two wires that are underneath two sides of the clamp and then there's a third wire 
that's going into a push-in terminal on the back of this single pole switch. So you've got your hot coming from the service panel connecting to all three of these and it's being turned on and off by the single pole switch. All right, I opened up another box with a single pole switch and this is very interesting. Again, we have a break in the hot, but this one, the hot comes in from the service panel and we're breaking it off to two wires, one going up to a light and one to an outlet. So half the outlet is operated by the switch. What's interesting though is they did a, a very poor job of connecting this. They wrapped the two wires together and looped it around the terminal and it's not a very solid connection. So what I want to do is I want to take these two wires and join them with a wire nut and then we'll take a short pigtail, a short piece of wire coming out of this. We'll join three wires together and we'll have a short pigtail coming to this terminal and that will make a very safe solid connection. Alright, this is an interesting box because you've got a wall switch that operates three different outlets. So you can plug a lamp into it and turn your light on and off as you enter the room. So you've got the hot coming from the service panel and a switch, single pole switch, is just a break in the hot. And so we've got three yellow wires that are going on to three separate outlets and then you've got your white, your neutral, twisted together here. So this is one example of what you might find when you take a switch out to replace it.